Family and friends, welcome back to the channel. A little update, some things that have taken place. Right now it is Halloween 2023, uh, our last Halloween here in the States. Uh, looking forward to it, love handing out candy, it's gonna be good. Do a little update, some things that have been going on. April retired, huh? How nice is that? So uh, things are moving along, uh, paperwork's falling in place, uh, things are going well. Um, so I'm happy for her, she's happy, we're really getting ready, we're starting to move some furniture doing some things, you know, so hopefully, like I said earlier, around March is uh, when we should be out of here. It could be a little sooner, it could be later, depends on taxes. We do one more tax season here. This is going to be a little bit of a complex taxing because with the 401k, they're still going to send me a 1099 even though it's not taxable income yet because they haven't pulled it. I rolled it over to an IRA, but they still send you a 1099 that I have to submit showing that I moved the 401k to the IRA. Uh, so besides that, then we got pension paperwork that's going to have to be filed. Uh, it could be a little complex, so I want to make sure we're going to do it stateside here one more time. One more time, okay? Uh, other thing, uh, it's the World Series. Uh, your Texas Rangers against Arizona Diamondbacks. Game four tonight. Guess who I'm rooting for? Okay, game four. Texas leads two to one. Please, guys, we can do it. Diamondback fans, love you. Just not this week. Okay, that's just the way it is. So I'm get upset. Uh, my surgery. The last uh, video that we did, I was talking about. I'm having. I was having surgery two Wednesdays ago. <laughs> was it successful? Yeah. yeah. Let me explain it a little bit. Uh, I've never had a problem with anesthesia. Never. I've had an operation before. No problem. This time I had trouble coming out of it. I had no idea. You know, I'm, my wife told me they put a little bit of pure oxygen on me, try to, you know, snap me out of it. And when I came out, I, I just, I didn't feel right. You know, I felt groggy, felt like my body wasn't quite mine. I just, I just couldn't shake it. Any other surgery I've had uh, within five minutes, give me a cup of coffee. You know, I'm good, I'm ready. So what they did is, as I said earlier, I had a, a mesh umbilical cord hernia and the mesh was failing. It was starting to poke through my skin. And so I knew I had to get it done. You know, sometimes I bleed a little bit. I was like, ah, but I, I want to get everything done. I can't stay side before, before we go up there. So what he did was, the mesh is here, and he put a second larger mesh behind it. Okay, so this time, it was much more of an evasive surgery than the first time they did the uh, hernia operation. And so we're coming home, and I'm, I'm hurting. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it's not feeling good. And I didn't know that some people, when you're coming out of anesthesia, you can be nauseous. I didn't know that, okay? So I'm sitting down, you know, right after surgery, you can't move fast, I'm kind of shuffling. I'm sitting down, all of a sudden, ah, I'm gonna feel something in my stomach, and boom, I gotta throw up. So I get up, I'm just shuffling, trying to get to the bathroom, and I end up having projectile vomiting. Not to be confused with regular vomiting. I mean, 50% of it hit the toilet, the other 50%. Shower curtain sink behind the toilet. Oh, it's, oh. So I'm done. I'm coming out. Your eyes are just watering. And I just look at my beautiful wife. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And she looked at the bathroom. And she didn't say a word. She just went, and just went in the bathroom and cleaned it. God bless her. You know, because I couldn't even bend over. You know, it's the same day of surgery. I couldn't bend over. So she come out and she just, <laughs> she just hands me a trash can, opens her eyes up like puke in the can. But I told I, I went from zero to 100 like that. You know, I had no idea I was even nauseous. It was just instantaneous, so I apologize about that. Uh, other things that were, uh, all of a sudden I, st I started bleeding. And, uh, you know, a pretty good amount of blood. So, I, you know, I called uh, the doctor and, and his nurse answers the phone. And I go, am I supposed to be bleeding? And she goes, well, you, you got to wear your binder, sir. I'm like, binder? What, what, what's a binder? What, what are you talking about? She goes, Ugh. They didn't give you a binder? I'm like, no, I don't even know what one is. And just an elastic band where you see people who have, you have a bad back, you see a tight band, you're supposed to wear that after the surgery to put pressure on it. And I go, no, they, they never told me about that. So, oh my God. So I end up getting the binder, uh, so I'm supposed to wear it all the time. You know, sometimes you, you just got to take it off just because you, you can't breathe sometimes. But uh, that's been going on for the surgery. Uh, so I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Actually, the surgery is fine. Uh, I'm good to go. I'm glad I got it done. Glad it's over with. We're excited about the Texas Rangers. Rangers are up 2-1. to one. Uh, Game 4 is tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be handing out a lot of candy. Like I said, it's my last Halloween here. I very much enjoy uh, doing that. 
So I'll, I'll be in and out checking out the score, you know, during Halloween nights. Very proud of April. I'm so glad she's uh, retired now, so it's a good deal. Uh, so we're really looking at a max of four months to go before we uh, make the trip overseas. Looking forward to it. Um, this Friday, we have someone coming over to look at the house. Remember, we're selling the house. So they're coming over this Friday to check it out. Uh, got a couple people interested, which is good. So uh, we'll see where we're at. Um, this is going to be odd. The odd thing is this will be the last house we own. So typically, you sell your house at the same time you're looking for another house. And also, we're not doing that. Um, like I said, this will be the last house we own. Uh, reason being, I've touched on it in other videos that uh, I've done really well in home ownership. But the only thing tight with a home ownership or hard, it's an anchor. You're not really traveling too far away from it. You know, you can get mortgage companies. I shouldn't say mortgage companies, but uh, companies that, that that you hire to take care of your home. But they really don't take care of. It. They just notify you, hey man, you need a roof. I'm not going to do that. So after this, we're going to be renting. Uh, then we're going to move around Albania. Really looking uh, forward to Schroeder, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, that's up north uh, near the Albanian Alps, which April and I really love. You go south, you got Saranda, beautiful beaches, Vlor, uh, even Duras. Duras is a town, I shouldn't say town, one of the oldest cities in Europe. One of the oldest, not the oldest, but one of the oldest. Um, that's maybe 45 minutes west of Toronto, the capital. And uh, it's mostly an industrial port. It's been for centuries, thousands of years, you know, for trading and so forth. But they're they're expanding it and bringing in a lot more tourists, a lot more restaurants, stuff like that. You know, and that's very close. Uh, we really think the first year um, will probably be in Toronto, the capital. Uh, our embassy is there. Um, tremendous amount of expats. Get your feet wet. Then we're going to travel around, see Korcha, another nice city, uh, and eventually make it to... Uh, uh, Schroeder up north. Uh, that's the game plan. But when we get there, we might find a city we haven't even looked at or studied yet and, and fall in love with it. So that's why we're not going to buy. It's going to be renting. Okay. Uh, the key from what everybody tells me, you got to get in with the locals. You got to. Okay. That's how you're going to save money and they're going to teach you the ways. You, um, well, some people make the mistake of um, Americans, you're just going to go there, okay, I'm looking for fellow Americans. I didn't say I'm not going to look for fellow Americans, but you don't want to just be in that little group. Travel, learn, okay? Uh, also, April and I are going to go to college there. We're going to learn how to speak your language, okay? And we're going to learn how to speak Albanian. I think that's proper. Um, I think that's respectful. Uh, how many times have you heard it when people complain that people come into our country and don't, don't know our language? I don't, I don't want to be like that. Uh, a lot of people say, uh, why don't you just go and uh, learn Italian? Me being Italian, anyways. Um, because they speak a lot of Italian there. And that's good, don't get me wrong, but I want to be respectful and learn their language. Okay? That's what we want to do. So we'll, we'll, there, there's a lot of little things coming up that uh, we're going to do. We're about four months out, but I just want to touch base with you guys. Surgery went, uh, I believe it <laughs> I believe it's okay. Uh, Rangers in the World Series, man, let's do this. Uh, April's retirement, and tonight is Halloween. Uh, be safe out there, guys. Take care of the kids. Give them their candy. Okay? Uh, it's going to be good. Just wanted to touch base with you guys. Other than that, like I said, this Friday, we got the guy coming over. We're going to look at the house. So that's where we're at right now. Okay? Uh, talk to you guys later. Uh, go Rangers. Okay, I know you're watching. I know you're watching. Okay, Arizona. Love you, but not this week. <laughs> okay? Talk to you guys later. Okay? Love you. Be careful.